In today's tutorial, we're learning how to change the color of the sky in Canva in a very professional way. And you can really customize it to your needs. And we'll also look at the details because what you often see is these small things that really ruin an image if you don't do it correctly. But if you do it according to this tutorial, we will make sure that they look realistic. And we're starting from a blank canvas. And what we want to do is we want to go to the elements tab. And here we want to look for a tree. So type in tree and then go to photos because we're looking for a nice full sized tree picture. Let's scroll down and see if we find a good one. You can see there's a lot of variations available and you can pick whichever one fits your style the best. I kind of like this one here and let's add it to the slide. So we're going to drag it on the slide. And you see it's a quite nice high resolution picture. Now the first thing we want to do is we want to create a duplicate because we want to keep the original picture in place. So let's do that. And for the first image, we want to remove the sky, so the background. Let's go to edit image on the left. You have to select the image first, then go to edit image and background remover. Click on that and it will do a pretty good job at cutting out the background of the image. Let's close this. And now let's put in a different background. So what we've done is we have removed the entire background for this picture. So now we want to put in a different one. Go to the elements tab and let's type in, for example, clouds. Then go to photos and then look for a nice cloud image. I think this one will give quite a good contrast. So let's click on this one and then scale it so that it fits the page. The order is wrong, so we go to position, layers, and here we drag it underneath the tree. Now what we get here, what you can see is if we zoom in just a little bit, we can see that in the leaves and the branches, there's still this blue contrast, which doesn't really make sense. And it looks a bit poorly edited, but there's something which we can do. Select the image. And now I'm talking about the image of the tree without the clouds. So let's select that one, go to edit image, and then we go to the adjust tab. And what we can do here is we're going to do two things. First of all, we're going to remove that blue outline and we're going to make the colors match the sky just a bit more. So let's remove that outline first. And we can do that by scrolling down and in the color edit section, these are the tones from the picture. So we're going to select the blue tones and we want to drag that more towards the purple pinkish side, same as the background here. Play around with the saturation maybe reduce that just a bit and make that one orange there we go and then we can see what that looks like let's put on full screen for a second and it needs some time to load there we go and here we can see that the borders now they're orange so they blend in together with the sky a lot better this already looks more realistic now there's more that we can do because the impact of the clouds of the weather in general will also impact surroundings so we're going to edit image again, adjust. We're going to change the temperature of the trees. So if we put it to blue, you see that the green has this blue tint, but given the sky is kind of red, we also want that pinkish reflection on the image itself, so the tree and the grass. So we can play around with the tints until we find a nice balance with the image. Sometimes you can play around with the brightness, but in this case, it won't be needed. Contrast if you want also not needed in this case. And then in general, you can increase or decrease the brightness or the vibrance of the picture, the vibrance, the color intensity, or the saturation. We're not gonna make it black and white, but you can also increase that if you want. I'm going to increase that by just a little bit. Same with the brightness or the vibrance. And then let's have a look at what we have created. Give it a few seconds to load. It is still loading, so that's why it's a bit pixelated. And here we can see the high resolution picture. This already looks a lot different than the initial picture that we had already cut out. This looks more realistic. Now let's duplicate that once more. And now let's go for a totally different background. So I'm going to adjust this selection for a little bit so I can select the background image, go to elements, and let's type in night sky. And here we can see a lot of nice variations of night skies, and you can choose whichever one you prefer. Let's go for this one and we drag it, hold it, until we replace the background image. Then we can adjust the crop marks again. And here we see that we have a similar issue. So now that is, this blue has been turned into that purple tint. 
which doesn't make sense in this picture. Same with the grass and the tree, they're very well lit. So we want to adjust that as well. We're going to repeat the same steps. Go to edit image, adjust. First, let's do that pinkish tone. So we're going to set that to blue. And then I wouldn't increase the saturation because it's becoming too bright. I would turn it down in this case so that it's a lot softer. There we go. This already feels a lot better than the orange. So we're using that same blue tone. What we can do is play around with the brightness. So we're not going to increase it, but if we reduce the brightness, this will turn down or tune down the color intensity. And that's what we want. Now let's also play with the green, the intensity. Since it's night, it's going to be a lot more on the darker tint. So we're going to make it blue. And then let's play around with this one. And the brightness, of course, this is going to be a lot darker. And then increase the contrast just a bit. So the shadows are harsher. Same with the highlights, we're going to reduce those. And the shadows, we can make them as dark as we want. But I think it's nice if we don't overdo it. But we go with like just a little bit darker on the shadows to create this realistic night effect. The shadow can remain, I would say, because it's a... It could be the shadow from a moon. So if there's a very bright moon and with this starry night, that would make sense. So I wouldn't increase the blacks too much, just a little bit. And the whites take them down also by just a few ticks. And here the saturation, I don't think it does too much for now. So let's leave that as it was. And this way we have created three totally different images or totally different styles from the same image. If we look, this was the original one with a clear blue sky. If we scroll down, we've now changed it to a very intense purple sky, like the golden hour, with also adjustments to the front of the scene and the small details, of course. And then a realistic night sky image to tune down all the colors and make it a very realistic night scene. Now let's add a nice transition. Let's see if we can do a linear wipe. That will make the effect. Yeah, let's do dissolve. And then duration to 1.5. Let's do the same here. Dissolve, duration 1.5. And then let's play it in preview mode to see the result. So here we have the opening scene, a very bright blue sky together with vibrant green in the grass and the tree. Now, as soon as we click, we change the sky to a more dramatic feel. And we also change the color tones of the green in the grass and the tree. And then if we click once more, we turn it into a night sky where we tune down all the colors and really make that image totally different than the original one. If you want to learn more about Canva, make sure to follow the channel.